This video is going to explain to you some of the concepts of what we're going to be testing in the lab we're going to do on dragon breeding. It's a simulation, not really a true lab, but it should still help to explain some of the concepts. So you will get an envelope not unlike this one. As you can see, there it should say male and female on it. It may have this in writing. It may have a little color badge on it. But when you open this envelope, what you are going to see looks like a mess initially, and it kind of is. What we're going to do is we're going to sort all of this into the chromosomal arrangements of our dragon. So here you can see this is, maybe you can tell this is a male dragon because it has an X and a Y chromosome. Neither of these will be in multiple pieces, but all the rest of the chromosomes, here we can see chromosomes 1, 2, 3, and 4, each have multiple letters. So this one has a sequence D, C, B, and A on it, or rather A, B, C, D, down this chromosome. And there should be, for each gender of dragon, there will be two dragons worth of genetic material here, and it should be a male and a female, which will have two distinctly different colors. Um, they will each have a full chromosome set. The only difference will be, well, there will be some subtle differences that you'll probably figure out, but generally, each dragon will get a pair of chromosomes, which will have the same genes on them. And there should be, in most cases, a chromosome that contains dominant alleles and a chromosome that contains recessive alleles. What you will need to do uh, before you really proceed with the lab is to structure all of these chromosomes back into the way they're supposed to be. Because as of right now, it looks like they're kind of a mess. So let's see if we can do that. Uh, essentially what you would want to do is find kind of the green ones. Here's one that actually is together pretty much. And you can see it's chromosome one and it has A, B, C, and D. However, you'll note it has a lowercase a, uppercase b, up, or lowercase a and b, and uppercase is c and d. We need to fix that. So we'll need to take this loose like so. These are Velcroed together. Here you can see there's a little Velcro disc on there that holds these together. Not super well, certainly easy enough you can tear it apart, but we will need to find the other C and D that goes with this. So we'll need to sort through the stack to the green chromosomes. There's our C, that's the lowercase c, that will go with this. And there's our uppercase B. So we're going to put the uppercase B with it. And we're going to do this for all of them. I found here's an uppercase A, put that with it. And now we have our chromosome 1, one of the two, for this dragon. We will now need to put together the lowercase recessive alleles. Here they are. Um, putting together A, B, and C, so we still need to find the D. Anyway, you're going to do this for each of your dragon chromosomes. So you have basically sets of chromosomes that you should have all of what is on this sheet here. Chromosomes 1, 2, 3, 4, and the X and Y, or if it's a female, two X chromosomes. Okay, so knowing that, that'll be kind of your first step in this activity, is putting together the chromosome sets. Then we'll be able to go through the other parts. Hope this helps.